Hey, what's up, guys? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good summer. Welcome back to my channel. My name is EJ Rec, and for today's topic, ano ba topic natin today? Absent ka nung Saturday sa kapagaling. Uh, guys, uh, before I'm gonna proceed, uh, supposed to be mag-upload ako nung Saturday na uh, supposed to be lesson number two. Medyo na busy lang talaga ako. So, sobrang sobrang busy ako. Uh, hindi ko siya nagawa ng ano. Hindi. I'm very sorry. Okay, I'm very sorry. Hindi ako nakapag-upload talaga. Uh, busy lang. Yun lang masasabi ko. Busy lang. May ginawa lang akong importante. Okay, so... If you follow my Instagram... Siguro makikita nyo dun kung... <laughs> kung ano. <laughs> kung ano nangyari. Kasi medyo... Updated lang ng konti yung Instagram ko. Konti pa lang yung mga photos ko doon. Pero uh, kakasimula ko lang kasi. Anyway, uh, follow me on my Instagram at EJREC. And sa Facebook page ko rin at EJREC. Okay, so guys, uh, for today's topic, I'm, um, I'm gonna be sharing with you uh, yung lesson number 2. Medyo mabilis lang to eh. Mabilis lang to. Yung, le yung lesson number 2, it's all about... Uh, uh, what is the design intent when it comes to SOLIDWORKS okay and then for lesson number 3 is uh, ituturo ko sa inyo kung paano mag manipulate gamit lang yung mouse mouse at saka yung keyboard uh, if AutoCAD user ka mostly sa mga AutoCAD user ang ginagamit na ngayon is yung mga command nasa, nasa, ano, nasa keyboard na mga shortcut nila so sa SOLIDWORKS, uh, konti, lang yung, uh, konti lang yung mga shortcut key niya sa, sa keyboard. Mostly talaga kasi may mga, may mga uh, drop menu bar and yung mga icons na sa labas na parang just pick, click, pick, pick, click, 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 click. I-click nyo lang yung mga kuman, nandiyan na yun eh. Uh, and then, basta uh, gamit lang yung mouse. Mostly, ang sa akin gamit lang talaga mouse pag, pag nagmamanipulate ako ng, uh, ng isang part. Okay, so, tuturuan ko kayo. Ituturo ko sa inyo yung basic uh, manipulation gamit yung keyboard at saka yung mouse. Yung basic lang. Yung talaga makagamit nyo yun. Especially pag beginners pa kayo. Okay? So, guys, let's jump to our topic. Um, design intent is a method used in computer aided design uh, that defines the relationship between two parts. Na anytime you're gonna anytime you're gonna modify the isang part, which is these two parts are are together in one, you know. Uh, how, how, how am I gonna say this like in layman's term? Okay, let me show you on my screen para at least ma maintindihan nyo. Okay? So, so, as you can see here, like for example, on this, on this part, may kita nyo yung isang, uh, itong bracket na to, may dalawang object, di ba? Pero actually, tatlo yan eh. Yung, uh, yung lower part, at saka yung upper part, yung malaking hub at saka yung lower, lower hub na maliit at saka yung body nyo no? so uh, pag sinasabi mong design intent is, is that if I'm gonna if I'm gonna modify any of this uh, any of this part yung, yung malaki or yung maliit na hub or yung nasa yung yung body niya. Once na magmo-modify ako dito, automatic magmo-modify siya without any error. Okay? So like for example here, if I'm gonna edit this upper hub, like for example, uh, 250 yan, ano? 250 diameter. So kung pag ganun ba gagawin ko siya ng 200, may kita nyo nag-change siya, di ba? And then, pag itong 150, uh, gawin ko na 100. 
mas automatic na to change ako. And then may kita niyo yan pag exit ko. See? Ah, uh, nagmo-modify siya without any error. Kasi pag once na may error yan, kita niyo yung mga yung mga commands ko dito sa yung command tree ko dito sa sa left side. Pag may error yan, lahat yan mag ano yan mag uh, magkulay uh, kulay dilaw, uh, kulay red. Uh, kasi parang nag-error yung yung connection between the small hub and the body and the, and the and the upper hub, yung malaking hub. So uh, very important thing guys na pag gumawa kayo ng sketch kasi yun talaga yung first uh, first procedure niyo eh, kung ba, para uh, kung bago kayo makapag uh, makapaggawa ng solid part. So once na gumawa kayo ng sketch Uh, I'm gonna show you this like for example this sketch you know kailangan nasa proper connection yung pag yung paggawa nyo but anyway we're gonna uh, itatakal natin yan like I think on the next lesson on the next lesson so kailangan lang kasi yung mga connection between uh, between lines and those circles kailangan na nasa proper connection siya. Uh, pag sa AutoCAD kasi, may tinatawag sila na yung mga object snaps. Uh, dito din sa SOLIDWORKS, meron din siya. Uh, it's not like you're gonna, you know, when you're gonna uh, connect a line to another object. Parang hindi lang siya pwede yung basa-basa, i-connect mo lang. Kailangan, there's a proper object uh, snapping uh, between, between, tool, uh, between lines. Okay. So, yun yung definition ko of uh, design intent when it comes to SOLIDWORKS. Okay. So, okay guys, proceed tayo dun sa topic number 3 natin which is on how to manipulate uh, objects by using your mouse and uh, your keyboard. Yung mga shortcut, uh, yung shortcut command lang. Uh, on how to, you know, on how to move objects, on how to rotate them, you know. Yung uh, basic lang muna ang i ituturo ko sa inyo. Kasi kailangan nyo talaga yan eh. Kailangan nyo talaga bago kayo uh, gumawa ng isang part or bago kayo magsimulang gumawa ng drawing sa SOLIDWORKS. Okay? Okay, the first basic ma manipulating key is yung on how to rotate this part. Okay, uh, scroll key ng mouse. Ipi press nyo lang, i hold nyo lang, press and then hold the scroll key. Okay, and then just hold and then i ano lang, pay kat ikot nyo lang kung bang kung gusto nyo makita yung ano ba yung yung uh, kabilang side, yung upper side. Wow, wait a minute. I forgot to. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, I forgot to fillet this uh, this comment. Anyway, here it kuna lang guys. Practice makita yung paano paano ko ginawa. So now we're gonna go to fillet and click the corner. So. Fillet 5 millimeter. There you go. And then yung lower part. Ganyan lang guys. I-hold nyo lang yung yung scroll key. Tapos, rotate nyo lang. Ganyan. Ganyan oh. Nakita ko yung isang yung isang corner. Hindi pala siya naka naka fillet. Ano? So, again. Sorry. Click the corner. It's 5 millimeter. Okay, and then there you go. Voila. Okay. So that's the first uh, manip uh, manipulating key. Yung uh, kung paano siya magrotate. Click nyo lang yung scroll, press down, and then rotate nyo lang. So the second one is. Kung paano mo siya i-zoom out or zoom in. 
Okay, so it's the same uh, it's the same key, yung scroll. I scroll up and down yun lang, you know. Scroll up and down, scroll up and down. Scroll up and down, scroll up and down. Okay. So yung next one is yung uh, left button ng mouse, which is yung left button is if you're gonna Kung i-click mo lang yung surface ko, alam ba kung, kung may surface ka na gusto ng i-highlight Yan lang yung purpose nung uh, yung left key Next uh, button natin is yung right click button ng mouse Yung right click button ng mouse is Like for example, if you're gonna right click any surface Okay, so may lalabas dyan na uh, mga options uh, A dialog box Which is uh, Halimbawa, kung may gusto nyo i-modify yung surface na yan, lagyan nyo ng kulay o lagyan nyo ng, uh, halimbawa, uh, i-extrude nyo pa yan or any modification, uh, gamitin nyo lang yung right click. Okay? So, you have there uh, edit feature. Uh, pag kung gusto nyo i-visible, ay i-hide nyo yung, uh, yung surface na yan or mag-edit kayo, mag-add kayo ng sketch on that surface so uh, kahit anong option ang gusto mo dito sa surface na to, just click on the uh, just choose the right click and then lalabas na lahat yan dyan okay okay guys, so, so yung next natin is yung space bar yung space bar kasi is like for example here, if I'm gonna press the space bar uh, dadalhin kayo kung paaling orientation ng view ang gusto niya. Hmm. Like for example, if you're gonna choose uh, the side view, again, space bar, if you're gonna choose the top view, or the southeast, uh, north, northeast, or I don't know, the, 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 uh, the, uh, the isometric view, which is this one. So, Yan yung first, uh, yan yung isa mga mani manipulating uh, options na pwede nyo gamitin. B basic lang yun. Basic lang. Okay, the, the next one, the last one is uh, if you're gonna move this part left, right, up and down. Uh, click nyo lang yung control plus uh, the scroll button. I-hold nyo lang. See? Up, down, up, down, so ganyan lang. Control plus scroll. Ipipress nyo lang yung scroll together with the control uh, control uh, button ng keyboard. So, yan yung uh, basic manipulation key na kailangan nyo i-practice and then i-familiarize yun para at least pag once na mag start kayo ng uh, gumawa ng isang part. At least, alam nyo na kung paano yung pasikot-sikot sa keyboard at just mouse. Okay? So, yung last topic na isi-share ko sa inyo is on how to change uh, the unit. Kasi, itong SolidWorks ko, ano ah, ba? <laughs> itong SolidWorks ko ngayon is yung uh, yung unit niya is uh, nasa metric ako ngayon eh. Parang, parang ginawa ko ata metric to. So, metric to yung unit to. So, ngayon, kung halimbawa, gusto mo mag-change into um, inches or meters, pwede nyo siyang i-change uh, automatic dito. Okay? So, I'm gonna show you on the screen. So, just go to option. You can see this uh, button here on top. So, option and then we're gonna go to document and units so here <coughs> dito yung may, may mga option dito pag gusto mo ng meters or kilogram but we don't use that uh, centimeter millimeter and inches so if I'm gonna change this one to inches may kita nyo yung decimal uh, points dito kung ano yung preci uh, preci uh, precision ang gusto nyo pag tatong digits or apat ng digits so kung gusto nyo na uh, yung precision nya is uh, 3 decimal points or 4 decimal points so i-change nyo lang dito yan 
depende po sa akin kasi pag uh, pag gumamit ako ng millimeter hanggang dalawa lang talaga pag inches uh, tatlo tatlo ang ang, ang advice niya ang sabihin natin ang standard 4 inches so okay so gagawin natin siyang inches and then decimal is 3 same thing 3 3 3 and 3 and then okay so we're gonna check so balik tayo dun sa sketch and edit sketch okay see naging 7.8 uh, 8.74 dito naman is 3.937 kanina na yan eh 100 some 100 something at yun 150 or at at saka yung malay, this 100, di ba? So, yan. Nag-automatic change na siya, di ba? So, so ganun lang guys. Pag, alam ba, gusto nyo yung uh, mag-change ng unit on the spot, ganun lang. Yun sa akin kasi, talagang naka-setting na yun eh. Nung, nung bago pa lang ako gumawa ng isang part. O, yung, o, yung, yung isang part. So, ang ginawa ko, sinetik ko na lahat. Lahat na metric yun. Okay. But, you know, changing the unit is anytime you can change it, kahit uh, ongoing na yung uh, ongoing na yung, ano, uh, yung drawing mo. So guys, one minute. That is lucky. So guys, that's all for today. Uh, I hope you you learned something. Okay, so ulitin ko lang uh, yung mga basic manipulation kailangan nyo talagang i-practice yan bago tayo sa sabak sa uh, this coming Saturday for, you know, for making a new part. Okay? So, kailangan nyo i-practice yung, uh, yung manipulation uh, uh, manipulation key gamit yung keyboard at saka yung mouse. Yun. Okay? So, nabi ko, tandaan nyo yung uh, manipulation key and on how to change the unit okay so guys that's all for today see you on saturday vlog